Copperhead's a winner tonight, 2-1 to one, over the Dayton Docks. It was the home opener here at Bob Wren Stadium. It was a large crowd, nearly 900 people that witnessed this victory. Hello, everyone. I'm Ryan Boyd. This is Jacob Corrigan, my partner. And it was excite an exciting game, Jake, as the team was solid on all cylinders, really, but it started with the pitching. Yeah, great crowd, 800 uh, over, or close to 900 people here at Bob Wren Stadium. You had a great crowd. The team fed off it. You had great pitching. Adam Anawalt started, got the win, five and two-thirds innings, three hits only given up, six strikeouts. The pitching staff combined for 13 strikeouts. We caught up with the guys after the game, and they talked, they talked about how important it was to win in front of a great home crowd. I love playing here, too. It's a great atmosphere. It's always the greatest. It's the greatest thing you can have because it's like the well, there's nine guys. The, it's like the tenth man, you know. There's someone else there behind you, and you throw a, you throw a first pitch strike of the game, and everyone's all into it, and it's great. It's definitely more fun here. Summer, summer ball, more laid back and stuff. So fans get into it. Now along with that pitching performance, the hitters did just enough in this contest. They scored one run back in the second and then one in the third on an RBI single. One of the runs came on a couple of errors, but again, I say it just enough to win the baseball. Yeah, Ben Netzel started at first base. He reached on an infield single, then came all the way around on two errors, scored at home plate on a, a wild throw at third base, got him, got the Copperheads on the board. Then in the third inning, uh, Matt Lopez drove in an RBI single, got Ben Otto in, and that was just enough. And, and as Coach Chris Moore said, you know, the team was held together by the solid pitching. You know, those guys, those guys went out today, uh, you know, showed uh, showed great command. Uh, their, their pitch ability was fantastic. Fantastic. So uh, you, you can see, you can see the uh, over the course of the season we've had, you know, out of three games we've had, you know, we've had two games where we've had guys with really good stuff go out there and, and not have great command, and, and you know we scuffle a little bit, and, and we had some guys today that still have good stuff but showed, uh, you know, sh showed great command, showed great pitch ability, and, and frankly, you know, pitching's pretty easy when when, when you throw strike one, uh, give yourself an opportunity to get some easy outs early in counts. Uh, you know, pitching is, you know, p is pitching one on one today, and, and those guys made it look real easy. The Copperheads will be back in action on Sunday as they play a doubleheader against the Grand Lake Mariners. Come out for that one. Here will be here at Bob Wren Stadium. It is hunting and fishing night brought to you by Rocky Brands. But with that being said, please look into all of our media. We have a Twitter page. We have YouTube, CopperheadBaseball.com. All of those will have constant updates for them from the media team. With that being said, he's Jacob Corrigan. I'm Ryan Boyd, and this has been Copperheads Baseball.